Wherever we want to go, our feet will take us there. This is Kasson Demwenda, the president for the Economic Freedom Fighters. Today we are rising on a concern because President Hakainde Chilema, alone in these two years he has been president, he has clocked 42 international trips that are very hefty and expensive. They have been estimated to cost billion kwacha, not million kwacha, billion kwacha. That's a lot of money that could have been channeled to hospitals, that have been channeled to roads, that would have been channeled to education. Money that is not being used properly and as a country that is homeraging fighting drought that is hard hit by debt this is a lot of money let me walk you through and see how much this money is being lost how much this money is being wasted unfortunately arrogantly because even when president Hakainde Chidema knows this is wastage he still goes ahead and do it let's go through the trips and let's see how valuable were they the first trip that President Hakainde Chilema made when he became president was to the USA, New York from 26th to 27th of September 2021 to attend the UN summit, which wasn't much as a country. We didn't benefit much. The second one was to UK, Scotland, Glasgow from 31st of October to 4th November in 2021 to attend a UN climate change summit which you would have delegated and we didn't get much as a country the third one was to South Africa Deben 15th November 2021 for intra-Africa trade fair 2021 not much was achieved but at least it was a fair trip the fourth one was to Botswana Kasani on 20th November 2021 World Children's Day celebration Honestly, he would have delegated to the vice president or even to ministers. The fourth one was in was Botswana Kasane. The fifth one was Democratic Republic of Congo from 23rd to 24th November 2021 for a business forum. Wow. From what we can see here, nothing much was achieved. The sixth one was in Malawi, the long way on the 7th of November. It was an official visit. He would have just gone or called. Well, it's not much, but it cost the country a lot. The seventh one was again to Malawi in, on 12th January 2022 for a Sadiq Extraordinary Summit of Heads of States and Government. This one was progressive because it bordered on matters that affect Zambians. The eighth one was to the United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi, from 18th to 21st January to attend an expo that was organized by a handful of people. It was a total waste of resources. The ninth one was to South Africa, Johannesburg, Pretoria from 26th to 27th January. It was an official visit. We didn't get much. This is the one where I ended up even attending a book launch for his friends. The tenth one was Ethiopia at Sababa from 5th to 6th February 2022. It was the uh, 35th ordinary session of the Assembly of the African Union. Its importance was average. The 11th one was in Belgium, Brussels, from 17 to 18 February 2022. It was the 6th European Union Africa Union Summit. It was below average and we didn't get anything because it was a European-centric uh, agenda that was being perpetuated. The 12th one was to see the Holy See, that is in Vatican, from 19th February in 2022. It was an official, uh, official visit. We won't comment much on it. The, 12, the 13th one was again in South Africa to Cape Town from 9th to 11th May for a mining endeavor, which he could have sent a mining um, a minister or at least a vice president, but decided to go on himself to spend a lot of money. The 14th one was in Eswatini on the 6th of June 2022, an official visit. While it was casual as a country, we did not get much. The 15th one was in Kenya, Nairobi, 15 to 16, an official visit that we, not, we did not benefit much. 16th uh, visit was in Belgium, Brussels on 22nd of June 2022, an official visit to Europe, the European Parliament, another waste of resources. The 17th one was in Rwanda, Kigali from 24th to 25th June 2022. It was a 26th meeting of heads of government of the Commonwealth nation. It was average, although we didn't get much of it. 18th one was in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania on 2nd August. It was an official uh, visit. It was centered upon the upgrade of the Tazara rail line to standard gauge rail line status and to revamp the Tazama pipeline. This was at least progressive. On the 19th, uh, the 19th one that we saw was the trip that he undertook to Democratic Republic of Congo, Kinshasa from the 17th to 18th August for the 42nd Ordinary Summit of Sadiq Heads of State on Defense and Security. Progressive at least because President Hakainde Chilema is a chair for this Security Council. The 20th uh, trip that he made was again to the U.S. states, to the United States, 
New York from 18th to 23rd September. It was the seventh session of the UN. We didn't get much because we didn't even contribute. We just went there as spectators. He would have better sent a minister and saved this country out of money. The twenty-first trip that he made was to Namibia, Swakopmund, from thirteenth to from twelfth to thirteenth October, a state visit on trade and expo. What are ministers for? He would have sent a minister to represent the country. The twenty-second one was to Resorto, inauguration of um, the king there, Matekane. Wow, he would have still delegated or he would have gone. But as a country, it was not a value, value meant kind of a trip. The 23rd trip was to Egypt from 6th to 8th November 2022, United National Climate Change Conference. It was not necessary. We have got a minister for green economy. He should be the one attending this climate change, not the president because he's wasting a lot of resources. The 24th one is the United States. Again, he went to the United States, Washington, D.C. from the 12th to 15th December 2022, a leader summit. Not necessary. These are summits that are supposed to be happening here or at least you should have done them online. 25th was in Angola, Luanda, Lobito, from 11th to 12th January. It was an official visit. We know the bilateral tra uh, uh, treaties we have with Angola. At least it was necessary. The 26th one was to AU, UAR, UAE, in Abu Dhabi, from 16th to 18th January. It was a working visit. Nothing important came out of it. On the 27th, he went to Dakar, Senegal, from 25th to 26th January. On a Feed Africa Summit. This is where he just embarrassed the country and nothing came out of it. This is why he came up with a resolution saying, we'll be growing rice in the wetlands. What have we gotten out of it? Nothing. 29th trip that he meant was Ethiopia at Sababa from the 17th to 19th February 2023. It was the 36th ordinary session of the Assembly of the African Union. Wow, we know these meetings. Nothing has been coming out of it. On the 13th, he went to Qatar, Doha from 5th to 9th March. It was the fifth United National Conference on the least developed countries. Well, they went, talked, drank tea, but we still haven't seen any resolution out of this meeting. The third first was in Mozambique, Maputo, Beira. It was a state visit, and at least we, these are our neighbors, and we have a lot to discuss to develop. The third second trip was the Zimbabwe Victoria Force on the 26th of April. It was a sixth Transition Africa Summit. This one was necessary. The third, third trip was to the United Kingdom, Scotland. Uh, Edinburgh from 5th to 9th. This was a waste of resources to go and watch the coronation of Charles, uh, King Charles III and Camilla. It was not necessary. It was wasteful and we lost a lot of resources. This should not be encouraged. The 34th trip was to France, Paris. He went as a tourist. This is where he claimed to have met Macron in the lobby. It was a waste of time. The 35th trip was again to the United Kingdom, UK, London from 10th to 11th of May. He said they had various meetings. This is when we see him group trotting from one town taking selfies. It was another and progressive trip. The third sixth trip was to Poland, Warsaw, from 15th June. It was a state visit. He also extended it to Ukraine and Russia Federation. They discussed these wasteful things that never culminated to anything. The third first, the third seventh trip was to Ukraine, Kiev, on 16th June, meeting with Zelensky. It was a hopeless meeting. They had assembled themselves saying they are going to stop war, a war that they were told that they did not understand anything. The 38th trip was to Russia, St. Petersburg, 17th June, the meeting where uh, Putin told them to sit down because they were just a waste of resources. The 40th trip was to France, Paris for new Global Financing Pact Summit. Well, this is where they brought with, that, with them... Um, a scam of uh, a scam of a restructure where they have just pushed the payments way in the future for our children to come and pay. The fourth fifth trip was to Angora Robito to go and visit over the corridor. This corridor deal has been signed a long time. Why does the president keep going back to the same when he could send even a vice president? So this is another waste of trip. The fourth second trip he has gone to Ghana right now and is on a state visit. It is very concerning because this trip in totality I expected to be about billion kwacha. This is a lot of money and President Akane Chileman knows this so well. But he's being greedy, he's being gluttonous and he's making this country suffer the homerage. And as economic freedom fighters, we cannot allow this. It's time for him to seriously take responsibility and know that running a country is not a personal agenda where he should be globetrotting and making amends for himself and not the country. A time has come that this has to be put to a stop and save the resources for our hospitals where people are dying because of lack of medicine. 
This is Kason Demwenda, the president for the Economic Freedom Fighters. Wherever I want to go, our feet will take us there.